Hello, hello everyone. My name is Alex Lazarus and I am so excited for today's stream. We are going to be doing Design Fix. So if you don't know what Design Fix is, I am one of the two hosts. Claudia is the other host. We do this every Thursday. Uh, so it's really, really exciting. Design Fix is essentially our time to give back to the community. We take an hour out of our day to work on any of the designs, any brands, projects, maybe have some logos or some social media projects that you've been working on and we help fix it up for you. So you might be new to making a side hustle. Maybe your business has been around for a long time. Whatever it is, we're happy to help out. All you have to do is go over to our form and I will put that in our link right now in chat and you can fill it out and you can get your company, your business, whatever it is featured in our show. Uh, so it's a great way to get, you know, get your side hustle up and running, maybe adjust some stuff, whatever it is, we're happy to help out. Um, if you are wondering where did this forum go, it is in our Behance chat right now. We read our chat from there. Gareth, Sergey, Umicorn, Sam, Penny. I see so many of our, our consistent viewers here today. It's awesome to see y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is awesome. So anyways, without further ado, um, Sam just relinked it in there. If you're wondering what this chat is, it's on be.net slash Adobe Live. That's where we read all our chat, all our questions. Feel free to ask away. You know, today we're going to be working in Express. Um, I'll show you really quickly what we're going to be working on. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's where, that's the button. That's the button. Uh, let me know if my audio levels are weird or anything like that. There is a slight risk that there might be a fire alarm today in my building. So we don't know. We'll find out. We were given the window of nine to four yesterday. So. We're rolling the dice today. We're gonna to see what happens. But let me know if you hear anything weird in the background or anything like that. I'll adjust the volume accordingly. Um, today we're gonna to be working on window, wood window makeover. Um, really, really quickly, we have this gray artboard here. I'm gonna press uh, Command Shift H, and then I have just a full window. You can see um, this is the logo that was submitted by Tanny. Um, essentially, this is the journey for um, a carpenter in San Antonio, Texas. The little bio about them is, my journey from a carpenter to craftsman began building country singer George Strait's Adobe Mansion in San Antonio, Texas. Quickly became lead carpenter responsible for all of the, all framing, trim, windows, door ceilings, cabinet stair, and everything else made of wood. It was here that I learned how to think outside the box as nothing in the house, home was conventional. Uh, Discovering an untapped passion for making and restoring historic type windows, I decided to specialize in historic window preservation. I now have made and restored thousands of windows. That's amazing. Clever says, woo, San Antonio, woo woo. San Antonio in the house, uh, the home of some of the best Tex-Mex in the world. Uh, this is George Strait's house. I did some Googling uh, before this stream to get ready. This is apparently a $7.5 million mansion in San Antonio. It's incredible it's gorgeous um we're, since we're going to be working on the logo updates for it maybe there's some callback to this kind of um adobe mansion that we'd want to bring into the logo maybe some of these arches um maybe some of the detail work in the railings um yeah even just the ornate like hot tub could be fun too so there's a lot of really cool shapes that are just coming from these images that i pulled from google earlier um, really cool stuff to see though. And I'm excited to start tapping into this. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into Express. If you have never used Express before, Express is kind of the most stripped down, easy to use versions of all your favorite Adobe tools. Maybe you've never worked in Adobe tools before. You don't need to coming into Express. Express is kind of your one-stop shop to kind of get all your content out post it on social, you can even print stuff, you can download it as a PDF, whatever you wanna do. You can even make uh, GIFs, MP4s, you can do animations, like literally small animations to it. You can remove backgrounds from your images, and things like that. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start, uh, we're gonna use the logo as a starting point, and then we'll start working in some social stuff as well, which will be super fun. Uh, Clever says, yes, best Tex-Mex. Man, I'm going to Houston next weekend for a wedding, and I'm very excited to, to get my queso fix back on and some barbecue. Uh, we don't really have queso or 
we have barbecue, but not really that good of barbecue in Los Angeles. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, Penny says design fix is so far to set off the alarm. I love that. You can be my professional copywriter. Uh, perfect. So we're going to jump into this. All right. So starting off, we're going to start creating a new project. If you see this top tray up here, it already gives you some dimensions and some templates and things that you can already start using for your project. Um, we're just going to click fly, uh, logo really quickly. Michael asks, it's for free? Question mark. It is for free, Michael. Uh, yeah, absolutely for free. But it does get better with an Adobe subscription. Um, that being said, because I look looking at this logo right here, um, this zeal one, it has this kind of um, kind of see. Let me zoom in on it for you. On the top left, you see this crown icon. That crown icon means it's included as part of your Adobe subscription already. So if you have one. There's a lot of free assets, free templates, uh, stock photos that all are benefited by you having access to your own Creative Cloud uh, subscription. But if you don't have it, that's fine. Look, there's so many all free logos without the crowns on there that you can start working with. Um, but you know, you can absolutely just use this one ver version of it as well. Cool. Let's go back. Done save. Go back to the logo. I want to type in like carpenter. Let's see if Carpenter. Whoa, that's kind of cool, actually. Wow, okay. So there's that one. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to build. I'm going to click this one. Oh, that is a page. There we go. So now we have a couple different things. I like that it's got the, what is this word? Oh, plain. Thank you. So if you just notice what I did, I cheated a little bit. I forgot what this was named after. Uh, if you click in and try to edit your shape, it'll bring up the shapes panel and give you options around the same keywords that are, are attached to that object or shape. So by me just clicking this, it pulled up automatically woodworking plane and reminded me that this is a woodworking plane. Um, I'm so used to pushing pixels, I forget what carpenter tools are called. So it's a good reminder. Uh, cool, carpenter plan, plane, I like that a lot. Um, so I think when we go back to our express file, wood window makeover, school of window craft, uh, San Antonio, there's a lot going on in this logo in terms of like all the copy being included in it. So I'd like to strip out some of the copy and just make it focused on wood window makeover. Maybe there's a secondary element or tertiary element where we can get the location and what it is, the school part of it in there. We'll see where we get today in, on this stream, but yeah, kind of where we're at right now. All right, uh, so let's go in here and then do wood window. And then the bottom line, we'll go in there and just type in make over. Cool. And we're just gonna expand that shape, just grabbing the corner angles on it and then just kind of filling it out to fill out that blue box. Um, that's kind of fun. I saw something out of the corner of my eye with the recommended recommended fonts. Um, so we're just gonna duplicate this really quickly, just like I would if I was building logos in Illustrator. I would just move it all over and give myself a little bit of freedom with it. Um, I saw this really curvy, bubbly, fun uh, letters over here. So I really wanna incorporate those somehow. And what window makeover? Uh, this feels a little bit San Antonio, right? No, not San Antonio. It feels a little Austin-y right now. Um, let's see how we, what we can do with it. Um, wood window might need an adjustment. Let's see what our font recommendations are. So if you see on the right side, you'll start to see some of the recommendations. It'll also give you the option to click explore more. We can do that as well. I think maybe something like that feels a little bit nicer. I wonder if it's, hmm. I don't know if adding a serif to it, the serif does feel pretty nice, especially with all the bubbliness underneath it. Ooh. Adobe Express is coming in clutch today. It's giving me some really good recommendations. All right, let me grab this, pull that, pull it over to the side. It's not bad. Maybe that's an option. 
Maybe we'll get chat to vote on it in a second. Let's see what we can do here again. Let's find another recommendation for that top one. Uh, let's go with this. Makeover might be too loud now. Let's see if we have some additional options that aren't so... Mm, I like it. It's the hard part. All right, let me see if I can adjust this shape. Uh, no, it's a rectangle. It's stuck. All right, let me do... Um, I'll grab another thing. Let me ungroup this group. All right, so I've ungrouped it. Let's see. Okay, now I can change the size of this. Okay. Boop, boop. And then I'm just going to pull this over, see if I can center it all up together. I'm going to ungroup that as well by pressing Command Shift G. And I'm just going to pull this down. I'm trying to increase the legibility, but it's not. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's look at back at our pages. I don't love how bottom heavy it is, but maybe that's okay. Cool. I also really like that green, but if you really want to, you can change it up in the background. Um, chat, what do you think for a color for this? I think keeping a kind of natural color palette seems pretty wise. Maybe I'll do something like a light blue. Or sorry, like a pastel blue. All right. Grab these and this. Boom. Cool. It's not too bad. All right, so we've got that option as a quickie. Let's see what else we can do with that. Also like the wood texture on this. I wonder how this was made. So we have different timber options as well we can pull from. As you see, that shape panel on the left side is starting to give us um, some additional options as well. I'll just go in here, wood, window, make over. It has a nice retro vibe to it. feeling pretty good. Let's change out this background. The orange is a little harsh. That feels pretty good as well. So just some quick changes with that and it gave us a lot of really niceness. Um, I really like this type on the bottom. Is this hobo? Yeah, hobo. Hobo is fun. It's popular again. <laughs> Clever says San Antonio is a very colorful cultural area. All colors, all over, neon included. Absolutely. I love San Antonio. San Antonio is great. Um, yeah. I grew up not too far from San Antonio. Cool. That's looking good. Clever says you'll get in trouble with orange or maroon for those two big colleges. That is true. Yeah, we're going to stay away from the Longhorn orange and we're going to stay away from the Aggie maroon and then we'll stay away from the Baylor green. We'll stay away from all the college colors. Um, Jonathan says, I like the slate color. The slate color was really cool. Um, I think we can probably incorporate more of that as well. Let's see here. Jenny says darker green background. I can do a darker green real quick. Just duplicate it real, real fast. Get some like olive green in there. Or do you want like, how dark do you want it? Super dark. How's that feeling to you, Jenny? Let me know. Be my art director, chat. I'm here to make 
great designs with you. We'll do another. Jenny says leaf. Okay. How much leafier do you need that green to be? Like bright green? Oh, Jenny says cool. All right, I'll take cool. Um, let's see here. Is there a wood window? Let's see if, what? Okay. I wasn't actually expecting wood window to return anything. Let's see what we can get. Um, I don't love those. So let me do um, just window. Clever says pink, green, yellow, and cyan are popular now because it's a fiesta. Nice. <laughs> what up, Francisco? All right, let's see what we got here. I think maybe that's too. I wish there was a way to invert um, some of these. Like if I could just, uh, I guess I could. Okay, so what I can do is I can take this all into Illustrator and make it do exactly what I want, I think. Maybe incorporating, I'm trying to think from George Strait's house, what do we have? We've got these like arches that I was kind of mentioning earlier. Those aren't really windows, those are like chimney tops, but we've got just like a Spanish style um, window frames like that. So we can throw that in there. I saw some of those already. Oh, hello, Shauna. What up? Jenny says, check out the house again. Yep, that's great minds think alike. I love it. Let's see here. Let's get some of these French doors or Spanish doors in. Windows? Parts of a house. All right, let's see here. It looks like, let me look at that again. It's like three panel, three by two. Uh, like that. Betsy says, can you put the timber behind the window? I could. Let me let me give that a shot in a second. All right, let's do. do, 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 do. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go up to the top right here and duplicate, or I can press Command D. Let's see. I mean, it's sort of very big. Why is it spacing off there? Hmm. All right, wood window make over. Sean says, hey, Laz, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? How is the, the Illinois? Um, I like this window illo in your logo, thank you. I made it myself. Just kidding. Uh, these are shapes, beautiful shapes coming from the asset library. All right, I need to change the type to make it a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more serious if we're doing this very rigid. Uh, all right, let's just do everybody's favorite. Bebus, if I can find it. All right, let's. Let's change, I'm tired of looking at this orange. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, let's go. Like Jenny said, leafy green earlier. Boom. So I says, I'm good, weather's warming up. It's nice because I can go outside finally. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad that the weather is getting good for you. All right. For those of y'all who don't know who Shauna is, Shauna's a wicked talented illustrator, um, does children's books illustrations and just, just super talented in all aspects. She also is a fanatical ice skater. Um, 
Ford window makeover. I'm not loving this line on this. Let me see what we can do with the shapes. All right, I'm just gonna duplicate this. We have all this free pixel data and everything, so I don't wanna be too stingy. All right, we're gonna start messing with just go ham. All right, I'm gonna make this black. Let's get, all right, copy. Uh, da, 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 shape, give me a shape. Uh, what am I trying to do? Ba, 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 ba. Curve, that's what I was trying to do. And no, I don't want any of that. Curve, let me make a, let me change this shape to have a little bit more of an arch in it. Let me go over to the shape panel, left side again, and then do arch. I'm gonna just type in arch in front of it, see what happens. Cool. Now we're starting to get some, some nice little window windows cool 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 wood window and then i'm going to take out makeover and oops, a line so if you see that like kind of magenta line going through there that pink line uh, that means that you're centered to the artboard. I'm just gonna drag this, boom, boom, boom. Good window, and then makeover. Type it, text, add your text, boom, click, okay, boom. And then I'm gonna just drag this down. And I'm gonna drag that there, cool. <laughs> Jenny says the arch is visually interesting. Is it typically found in adobo houses? I'm in Chicago. No adobo here. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Nope. No, they are not. Um, that's a great question. But uh, the way I'm justifying this creative choice is that the adobe house was just their starting point and they do all kinds of woodworking now and, and restoring historic types of windows. I don't know if they only do Adobe style houses or not, but I would assume that it's any historic house. So I figured an arch window could work really well and it per prevent, uh, present a nice, um, a nice opportunity for us. Uh, but I appreciate you looking out for me. I'm just trying to make a good logo now. Uh, but we'll probably go back to the, the arch or the other thing. It was just really difficult to make like a good looking, um, when you have such a rigid square grid like that, I don't think it's very compelling from a logo perspective. Um, but chat, if you, you know, let me know. If you want a very rigid square logo, we can do that easily. No problem. Because they're all my creative directors today. Uh, let's just shrink this down a little bit more. I wish. Let me just adjust this. That's feeling a little bit closer. What is that typeface? Fair, fair water sands bold. Okay. Fair water. Nope. I don't need tattoo style. There we go. Sands. Regular. Nope. Bold. There we go. All right. We're seeing. Let me just upgrade this to. Is this twenty point nine?
Let's see, we're gonna snap it all together. Jenny says, can you throw in the angles? Give it a 3D look maybe. Uh, that's a great idea. I'm trying to figure out how I can do the 3D inside of Adobe Express. Uh, but we can we can try it. It just doesn't give me like it is Express is still like a limited like it doesn't give you all the functionality that you would have in Photoshop or Illustrator. So there are some constraints. It's really good for a lot of things, but also challenging for things like a perspective. Like if I wanted to throw a perspective grid on this, I can't. Uh, but I can always pull that into Illustrator or Photoshop and and adjust it manually. Um, Let's, I mean, let's see what back shapes on this is there. Let's see if I can find square. Oh, it's because I changed the rectangle. Shauna says, not sure if it's tenable in Express, but if you added a rough effect to the window, like a very subtle one, it would add to the wood feel. You're absolutely right. That's a great idea. Um, okay, you've given me so many good ideas. Let me, let's get, let's do that. I'll bring it into Illustrator and we'll see where we can get. Um, that's a really good idea. Once we get a good enough logo that we like, then we can bring in an illustrator, apply a rough effect on it, and then be set. I don't like this. Uh, <laughs> Shauna says, I'm full of good ideas. You are, that's why I always talk to you. <laughs> so I always get your opinion on everything. It's so funny. All right, we got some like, Hmm. I like that we got like a Windows key here. That's good. Some browser windows. These all feel like historic, at least. This one definitely feels like a Sims. Like if I wasn't playing The Sims right now, I feel like this would be an option. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. Is this actually more balanced no why is it doing that i don't like when things don't feel balanced optically for our logo so while those are good illustrations for windows that negative space in the middle and how it's like offset and everything feels really wonky to my eye okay maybe this is our bleh. I think they're all gonna be kind of like that. That's unfortunate. Let me, we can cheat it. All right, what we'll do is this. I'll duplicate it by, I'm just shift alting and dragging it. Cool, and then what we can do if we wanted to is we can just take a, another rectangle Question from YouTube, are all those shapes free to license and use as a logo? Um, I think so. I didn't see any that had a crown on them, but either way, everything you're making in Express, you can use as a logo. You can use it as a whatever, it's fine. It's it's there for you to use, you know? So go ahead and use it. Um, if, you're, if you are over at YouTube and you wanna just directly chat with me rather than liaise through Sam, come on over, be.net slash Adobe Live. Ask all the questions you might have. Happy to kind of get there and answer it for you. Um, but yeah, everything in Express that you create is open for you to use. And Express is free, so take advantage of it. There might be like time where you, you want something a little bit more ownable, but like for the most part, as long as your client's happy, 
then you'll be happy. Cool, so what I'm doing here is I'm just cheating it, making that thicker in that middle. Uh, I'm gonna just zoom in on it and then shrink it down. Let me see. It's gonna be is that good enough? It's gonna feel off center, but whatever. All right, duplicate that. Right, top right. Boom, pulled over. Cool. Now it's feeling a little bit more balanced. I'm liking that. Let's see what we can do with the type here. I'm going to duplicate this as well. <coughs> um, there's a type treatment that I rarely ever use. Um, well, they have a draw cap. That's cool. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want that. Okay. Uh, it's the this. I never really have used it before for like an actual logo or project. Um, just because it's sometimes a little bit too fussy. But why is it giving me a shape? I don't want that. Okay, I just want this to be white. But something like this could work, or like the idea could work. I want a little bit more custom control than it sometimes wants to give, though. Um, stop. Stop doing the shape thing. Jenny says, I'm freaking out. I just did that. Are you designing with me in real time? That's awesome. I love that. That's great. Um, yeah, there's some fun stuff you can do with this. Um, honestly, though, like if I was to do this, I would just do it where I have more manual control. Um, so that being, if I change this type to be a grid view if I wanted, oh, the grid view could actually be really cool. Let's see here. Wood window. Mm, it's a two. No, it's not gonna work. Uh, the magic tool. Magic is one of the most used tools that I use uh, for the type in Express. What I love about it is that it'll fit whatever bounding box you kind of drag and pull. So if you want three words stacked, boom, super simple. If you want one that's you know horizontal, just two stack with one big word underneath. Also does that really easily for you. Jenny uh, says, looks very simple, but cool and very custom, good messaging. Yeah, absolutely. Sean says, it's like an HGTV interstitial logo that way. That's so funny. <laughs> I always wonder where HGTV and you know those shows get all their logos done. So this feels balanced at least. Let's just duplicate it. What I'll do here is I will start stripping out some words. I'll do wood window on one and makeover on the other. Um, I'll just grab that, boom, wood window. And then I'll do wood window on the top. And then I'll duplicate this. And I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna change it out to makeover. Um, boom. And then I'm gonna grab these all. I'm gonna grab these two and group them. And I'm gonna group that to the. Uh, let me just center it. Cool. I'll grab group those two together, I'm making all the groups. Ooh. I'm just gonna actually take this and pull it down. Oh, uh -huh, I forgot to, I forgot my little bars. Those poor bars. All right, let me pull them over. Boom. Let me just make sure that those are both aligned. Cool. Another option 
Um, I do like the idea of like pulling them onto a perspective uh, or even like, does this need to go? Do we need just one? Let's see. I'll just duplicate this really quick. I'm going to move this over here and then pull it up. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to go here, wood, boom. I'm going to rotate this around. Eh, not love in that. Just gonna back out, control Z my way out of this shenanigans I made. All right, let's see here. What do we got so far? I still, oh yeah, we're gonna do the wood texture thing, right? Um, duplicate that really quickly. Who was asking for the window and the wood? I forget. Might be too fussy. Let's see. I think it's See what if we can find a wood texture. Oh. Okay, I really like some of this. Um, we already duplicated it, so let's do this. I'm gonna command shift G to ungroup everything. Just take this color palette, boom. I think that this or something like this could work really well for, especially using like a hobo, the typeface. That's really fun. And then you can start pulling that texture into everything. Let's duplicate that. Let's keep riffing with it real quick. That's actually pretty cool. I actually am liking that. Hmm. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just download this really quickly. Is that the one? Let's see here, hold on. Chat, what do you think? Is that the one? Do we need to change out this shape? Jay says, keeps the message more general. I think that's, I think that's not a bad thing. I agree. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do another quick pass at this. I think that this, if we were to try to make that a logo, it'd look really bad at small sizes. All right, I think we're gonna go back to, I think this one, I think this is the one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to just download this as a uh, PDF, start download. And then I'm gonna pull that PDF directly into Illustrator. And then we're gonna roughen it up or we'll roughen Hobo up a little bit maybe we might adjust some of these little nudges in there. Okay, so we've got these layers. 
and make them black so everybody sees what we're doing. Cool. So if we're going to effect, I actually just try to go into all of them. Effect, stylize. Oh, it's not stylize. Warp moon. Is it is it on path? Distort and transform. There we go. Distort and transform. You'll get your rough in. This is obviously way too much roughening. Um, we're gonna try to keep. Let's see. All the detail. Whoa, too much detail. All right, so we're gonna just start messing with stuff. Uh, smooth. Let's do smooth. How much detail? Size. What's going on? Well, too much. Uh, detail, 55. Two. All right. Not feeling a bit, bit textury right now. Let's see here. Absolute. What does absolute do? Okay. <laughs> Sean says, smooth option. I know. I got it. I got it. I'm just not doing it everything else right um maybe that's fine i think we're okay is that too much does this feel like a tiger now sometimes to make rough and work i need to make things I'm applying really large and expand it. You're right. That's smart. Shauna Lynn Panches and everyone. There you go. All right. Command Shift H, bring the whole entire artboard into perspective. Effect. Uh, I always just say effect. It's not effect. It's distort and transform. And then click rough in. Click smooth. And then do absolute. And then make it a little bit more much detail e. <laughs> was that a zebra emote you dropped to clever that's so funny <laughs> i was like trying to figure out what emote you were using in the in chat two zebra or fingerprint is what she said but used a zebra uh like emoji Oh my goodness. Come on, Ruffin. Figure it out. Might not be smooth enough. <laughs> Clever says, yep, zebra -y. Yep, that's, that's how I'm feeling right now about it. But you know, maybe people like zebra wood. All right, this is getting way too pointy and not close enough to where I want. So I'm going to go back to what I had a second ago. I don't want to spend the entire stream smoothing roughens out. That's not too bad. All right. Cool. Now we got that. What I'm going to do is actually just um, Command Shift H, and then I'm just going to make this bigger. I'm snapping centered to the artboard, and what I'm going to do is going to click Export, and then do uh, what's this artboard? Up, oh, there's the perspective tool. I accidentally brought it up. Uh, shift O to look at your artboard in Illustrator. I'm going to export this. It's just artboard one. Export. Wood logo. Cool. Uh, 
<laughs> Shauna says, I'm pretty sure Stripey would exist, so it would work. It would. Wait, Gareth says, zebra wood is a very nice wood, in fact. No way. Is zebra wood a real thing? Hold on. Oh, chatters are right. What a, thank you, chat. Look at me learning. Learn today. Look at that. That's zebra wood. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is actually really cool wood. All right. Tangent aside. Sorry, I got derailed. That uh, very cool. I like it. All right. Did I export this correctly? All right. What we're we gonna do now that we've got our zebra wood thing. Oh, uh, let me wood window makeover. Cool. Got that there. We're gonna go back to discover. Just go back to our home page. We'll click home top left corner. <laughs> Clever says it does. It's cool. There's a place in San Antonio that I could get some right now. First of all, the fact that you know where to supply, where to get supplies of zebra wood is already amazing. And the fact that you have one locally is pretty awesome. So Clever is coming in clutch today. All right, we're going to go to uh, the brands page. For those of you all who have not ever seen this before, uh, what you can do here is you can upload your own brand. So I'm taking the wood logo. I'm just going to upload it really quickly. Boom, pick my color. Uh, we're gonna do as cliche as it is. I'm gonna try to go with like a brown. I actually had a brown here that I liked enough. Um, seven, three. Just grab it. Boom, save. Then choose your font. Uh, I'm just gonna choose whatever for that section. And then I'm gonna do wood window makeover. Create your brand. So we've got about um, like seven minutes left. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can bring this in and start <laughs> uh, bringing the, your brand to life. So go back to the brands panel. You'll see all these brands we built on stream. What you can do here is go to the three dots on the top right corner and then click the star button that says make default. You'll see it come to the very front in front of all the other logos you've worked on. And that's how you know you're working within that brand space. And then you can go back to your, your recent project, um, go to your projects tab, and then click your edit project. Uh, Clever says, I have too many hobbies. And Gareth says, I get told all the time I have too many hobbies. <laughs> that's awesome. Having hobbies is great. So it keeps you, you know, keeps you you. I mean, I'm streaming in front of like, all of my racing leathers and stuff. So I, I, I completely understand. All right, we're gonna do a new post. We'll say like, this is like an Instagram post. Just about one by one. And what I'm gonna do is actually see if I can find a carpentry photo. If I can spell, car I can't even spell carpentry correct correctly. Cool. All right, so like I said earlier, if you look over here in the left corner, if on the left corner of your screen, but the right side of the image there. If you see that crown, that means that these are part of your Adobe Creative Cloud sub subscription. Uh, I'm gonna just grab this image of this guy doing the woodworks. And I'm gonna take the logo that we already have, and I'm gonna go into, oops. I messed it up. There we go, should fit my screen again. There we go, cool. All right, let's go back to where is my UI? There we go, I had to zoom out a little bit, sorry. All right, we're back. Go here, go to this image. What I'm gonna do is click logos. Uh, why is that? That's not the correct brand. but this is the correct brand. Hmm. Well, it should be the Career Copilot logo, but let's, let's just 
we got four minutes anyway so we'll just try it again see nope all right that feature is not working the way i want it to i'm going to go to desktop or sorry downloads really quickly i'm gonna grab that logo and then i can apply it anywhere i want but really what i wanted to do with this is i wanted to see if i could use it as a texture really quickly and just cut off elements of the page go to like multiply let's do screen multiply it is and then just lower it down start using it as like a textural element i think that the rough in effect that i did on this is looking like it's pixelated and so that's not an ideal situation like that feels pixelated when it's not hmm well that's something i can adjust obviously let me go in here real quick and flip this boom do that there little flip grab some text throw the text here and then window make making workshop and then i'll go here and then i'll type in hobo sans i'm sorry it'd be hobo standard i think std yeah cool and then adjust the copy the color palette um, Alrighty, and I'll just adjust this to like a cream. And then window making workshop, and then I can duplicate this really quickly. And then take this down and say like April 27th at 5 p.m. at near the river walk I was gonna say near the Alamo but like I don't know those are my <laughs> those are my two landmark references in San Antonio right now <laughs> oh no it's stuck don't be stuck all right there we go um <laughs> oh no what's my screen doing hello all right Looks like it's it's doing some thinking. <laughs> Ginny says corny. That's funny. I mean, I don't know I don't know any addresses. I could say one, two, three street, but like near the river walk. Boom, everybody loves it. You know? Let's see here. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, my computer. Alright. We've got three minutes left. Let's do this. Um, duplicate that I'm just going to drag this down ever so slightly before, below it b.y.o.c oh no k q q uh, bring your own queso these are important you got to make sure everybody who's going to your workshop knows that they expect they should expect to bring your own queso. Um, I could really go for some queso right now. Own queso. Well, it, if we were doing this as an actual social post, though, we would want to make sure that everybody, you know, you have that in the description as well. Cool. <laughs> Jenny says quesadilla. Yeah, it could work for quesadilla as well. All right, so let's go refresh really quickly. We did a bunch of different explorations uh, for the logo. We looked at kind of like some of the shape languages, how to swap those out, how you can do like an arch logo if you wanted to. Um, or you can just start using some of these default logo templates that you've already got available to you. I really like the hobo with this, this uh, organic shape pattern. And then that's kind of where we led to like some of this stuff. I think with this brand, especially you could use a bunch of different um, textures 
and it doesn't always have to be the same one. I think keep it dynamic, keep it organic, keep it feeling like it's a new plank of wood every time. I think that could work really well. Just kind of build some rules around that if you were to take this on as a client project. Um, and then you found out how you can download your PDF and start making some final tweaks yourself in Illustrator and make it really your own. And then boom. Uh, Clever says BYO queso because this is nacho cheese. I think that is the perfect way to just say we're going to wrap this, <laughs> this stream up. But thank you, everyone. Thank you, Clever, for, uh, you know, just bringing in some San Antonio vibes and Texas vibes into this chat. It was a pleasure. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. So thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Make sure you come back next week. Claudia will be hosting um, Design Fix then. If you haven't yet, please submit to our forum so that you can get featured for a future stream and we can work together on this project along with our creative directors in chat. Um, it was a lot of fun. See you all later. Bye-bye.